everyone in this video we are going to discuss about uh, how to find the length of the jagged array so first of all what is jagged array in java see first of all a two dimensional array means we have already discussed that the representation of data in rows and columns so jagged array means what right any number of rows but different number of columns suppose this is the first row this is the first row in the first row we are representing rows is a first row with the index i am representing zero right and with the columns in the first row so total five columns are present suppose consider 1 2 3 4 5 suppose the five columns are present 0 1 2 3 4 4 next in the second row we have only three columns in the second row we have only three columns in the third row we have four columns again so in each row we have different length of columns and in the fourth row in the last row we have only two columns in the last row we have only two columns so this is this is the jagged array any number of rows no matter but different different length of columns we have now how can we find the find the length of the array total how many number of elements we can store so this is important see as we know how can we create one array and how can we create the jagged array first of all means directly we are representing with values with values this is the array and here the representation each row like this the first row is having five elements and the second row this is the way of representation right here it is we have two and in the third row in the third row we have four columns and in the fourth row we have only two columns we have only two columns so this is the way we are defining the jagged array directly so first of all you should understand right how many rows are present if you want to know so that is very easy simply that we are representing that the total number of rows the total number of rows simply arr dot length it will give how many number of rows are present but in each row how many elements are present what is the length of each row right this is the way we are specifying whenever we specify arr of 0 dot length then first row system dot out dot print ln arr of of 1 dot length next arr of 2 dot length arr of 2 dot length system dot out dot print ln arr of 3 dot length if you want to find the size of each row right one by one one by one this is the way the first row five columns second row three columns third row four columns fourth row two columns are present but for example if 50 rows or 70 rows are present so then how can we find the length so that is very hard in that case right simply we represent with one loop instead of writing this one right i'm just declaring one variable called length equals to 0 how many times we have to repeat the loop so total how many rows are present there are four rows nothing but how can you find how many number of rows are present means what arr dot length that will give the number of rows so we are repeating the loop for for i equals to 0 i less than arr dot length length i plus plus is nothing but or clearly more clearly less than or equals to arr dot length minus 1 so why so what is that arr dot length is 4 4 minus 1 is 3 starts with 0 ending with 3 because 
here it is a zero row first row second row third row when four rows are present index starts with zero and ends with three so up to three it will repeat four times it will repeat each row length we are finding a rr of zero dot length a rr of one dot length a rr of two dot length a rr of three dot length is nothing but a rr of i dot length because what is i value first zero it will find the zero row row length that you are adding to the length and storing into that length length equals to length plus error of i dot length first of all what is that length value is zero and that zero become first it will find out error of zero dot length so what it will return five that five will be added to zero so the total value become five next error of one dot length one first row length how many are present three are present that three will be added to that original length five five plus three eight that next row suppose two right ten the next row suppose four is a fourteen like that it will increase it will find out the each row length and that will be added to this len variable right after the for loop execution completion we are just printing the total length the total length we are printing that is len no sir each row length also i want to display like this i want to display after specifying the number of rows right each row length i want to display inside that system dot out dot println each row length a r r of i dot length the same thing the same thing we are printing so when we execute this when we execute look at this total number of rows are 4 the first row length is 5 next row 3 next row 4 next row 2 clear message i want means here you can concatenate using the java error of i i and closing brackets plus of course error of i like this nothing but error of 0 length sir i want length also right like this then you can specify more clearly like this error of 0 length is 5 error of 1 length is 3 error of 2 length is 4 error of 3 length is 2 so the total length is 14 so this is the way we are finding the length of a jagged array in java so what is jagged array any number of rows but in each row there are different length of columns different length of elements are present so this is what we called jagged array in java hope you understood please practice and check the output in your system thank you all